Kelly, and together we're Jess and Kelly Go. We cover places to see, food to eat, and things to do. If you're new to our channel, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Let's go! <laughs> are on a mission to find the best cheesesteak in Philadelphia. You may not think two five foot two women can eat seven cheesesteaks in a day. We are going to prove you wrong. We're gonna go to seven different places to try and figure out where's the best cheesesteak. So we are here at Reading Terminal Market. It is located between Arch and 12th Street. Reading Terminal Market is an enormous food hall full of everything you could ever want from candles to coffee to oysters to cheesesteaks which is what we are here for here is a tip for you get here early in the morning reading terminal market opens at 8 a.m most days make sure to check their website let's go check it out Day, and we went to Carmen's famous Italian hoagies and cheesesteaks. We got the classic whiz wit, wit meaning with onions. That's how you have to order it. Whiz wit. We're both really starving. <laughs> we didn't eat anything this morning. So I can't wait to bite into this. All right. this the are you, are you ready for this? The grand and reveal. Da, 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 da. Wow. Look at this that. Looks amazing. Cheers. Here we go. Mm. Wow. Whoa. It's like a giant cheese explosion in my mouth. I'm really glad we went with the Wiz. Don't be afraid of the Wiz. This is everything. Amazing. Yeah, I mean, it's we have nothing to compare it against because this is our first cheesesteak of the day. But Reading Terminal Market is cool because if you're with a group of people and you want a cheesesteak but they don't want a cheesesteak, there are literally every cuisine you could imagine in this market. So what I really like about this place is that they did a really good job of keeping these barriers up between tables so that not only do you maintain social distancing, but you have these plastic barriers so that, you know, you can be with a group of friends or with your family. It used to be just like an open community seating area, but since the pandemic, they've put partitions off and now you wait in line to get a table. Delicious. Love it. We love it. sitting since these two places are right across the street from each other so we took them to a local park and we're gonna try both at the same time so we can compare side by side now we ordered the same thing we ordered the classic whiz with onions Ishka Bibbles is also pretty famous for their chicken cheese steaks they also have this very well-renowned gremlin drink and it is apparently some kind of grape lemonade oh that's what good. do you think that's actually really good for, I'm excited to try it oh yeah. Yeah, we're YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Hey. <laughs> it's yeah, good. It's yeah. Good. Have a good day, it. guys. Jim South Street. Here we go. Ta -ta -da. Whoa, wow. Look at that bad boy. Oh, yeah. Look at all that cheese. All right. Come um, to me. Be me. Oh, uh, yeah. I think that one's my favorite one so far. There's more meat 
and less cheese. cheese. When you bite into the bread, it's thin. It like bites with you. But this one, it stays relatively like crispy. If you like a chewier hoagie style, then this one's for you. But if you like a less melty hoagie style, I would go with the ish kebabs. The gremlin is good. Neither of these places have indoor seating currently. So my recommendation is grab your cheesesteak and go to a local park, sit down at a picnic table. made it here to South Philadelphia. We just walked through the Italian market. We decided to try the two probably most well-known cheesesteak places in Philadelphia, and they are Pat's and Gino's. Which one is actually better? Pat's. It's Gino's right here. <laughs> it's a little juicy. Let's try Pat's. <laughs> Gino's, kind of juicy everywhere, like my hands are, uh, I'm not sure what it is, probably all the- uh, Grease. Grease. That's probably why it tastes so good. Pat's is, I think, is a little drier. Can you swap? Mm. Definitely is more juicy and greasy. I think I prefer Pat's. <laughs> yeah. We got a thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> so we just finished up at Pat's and Gino's. The next place we're gonna go to is called John's Roast Pork. We're gonna head further south in South Philly. I don't know how many more cheesesteaks I can handle today. Oh my today. gosh, we're starting I... to feel it. <laughs> <laughs> cheesesteaks for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> So we tried to go to John's, but they close at 5 p.m. We'll have to go back another time and try that. We decided to make the trip out to the Roxborough area. So we're gonna try two different cheese steaks. They are right across the street from each other's. One is called Chubby's Steaks, and the other one is called Delessandro's. Delessandro's. Yeah. And we've heard really good things about Delessandro's. That's kind of what everyone says is the best. So we're really excited to see if it lives up to the hype. Six and number seven. Oh gosh. <laughs> Which has the best? We can do it. <laughs> have our final two cheesesteak, Los Andros. Yes. Everyone seems to love this. We got one from Chubby's. Same cheesesteak across the board, always whiz whip. So we can kind of get an even playing field and wow. <laughs> For Delessandro's. Da, 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 da. This is huge. This is the one from Chubby's. Oh my God. Mm. This is really good. We gotta switch, try the Chubby's. Mm. All right, I'm gonna try Chubby's now. Oh my God. This might be the best juice steak I've ever had. She said it's made with love and I can taste the love. So we started out, we tried Carmen's, we tried Ishka Bibbles, and we tried Jim's. Pat's and Gino's, of course. Delessandro's, we got Chubby's. Seven cheesesteaks in one day. You did it. I'm cheesesteaked out. Personally, my favorite was Ishka Bibbles and Delessandro's. I'm gonna have to go Delessandro's. I think it really depends on what you favor in a cheesesteak. Thank you for watching our video. Be sure to click subscribe if you haven't already done so. Leave some comments below. Which cheesesteak is your favorite place in Philadelphia? Let us know. Share and like. We'll see you again next time. Bye. <laughs>